This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 478, How to Lose a Sale Before You Start. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers. And just the other day, I was assembling some furniture. You know, those kinds that come in labeled Nikea boxes. They got lots of Swedish vowels and umlauts like Ektorp and Duxta and Klippen and Frakta. And wouldn't you know, I started connecting one side with a bottom and the top to the other side. And just as I was finishing up, I realized that I had the left on the right side and the right side on the left. And I had to start all over. What was my mistake? It was a bad case of hubris and thinking that reading the instructions was beneath me. (laughs) What a fool. Looking back, when I connected the first two parts, I was doomed to never complete it. I'd have to start all over. This kind of thing happens in sales, too. You take a path that makes no sense. You fight to finish it without any sense of woo-way, you know, non-action-action. action You're going to put that square peg in a round hole no matter what it takes, right? Right? Wrong. That don't work. And that's the topic for today. But before we get to today's chapter, make sure and subscribe to the podcast. That way you never miss an episode. And now for today's chapter. Speak to the end. For the want of a beginning, a deal can be lost. Without a destination in mind, the journey is hard to fathom. The master seller has a goal in mind, yet mindful that nothing is fixed, static, or non-moving. With map and compass, a path can be plotted, but only if you know where you're going. Speak to the end. The beginning is an assumption. Now today's story. Pat and Chris spent the morning walking through Chris's sales funnel. One deal was particularly troublesome. Pat asked Chris, why isn't this deal progressing? Chris answered, they don't seem that interested anymore. They already have a solution and they seem to be happy with it. I've shown them what makes us better, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. They already have a solution, asked Pat. Why are we talking to them? Well, said Chris, I met them at the trade show. I asked them to meet with me, and they did. I gave them the standard presentation. I keep following up, but there's no real progress. For how long? Three months. Three months. Shifting in the chair, Pat spoke. It sounds like we don't have what they really want, and we never really took the time to dig in and find out what they need at the beginning. It seems to me we never had a chance and could have avoided all this follow-up energy if we just asked some key qualifying questions at the start. Oh, said Chris. Yes, Pat responded. This deal was lost the first day we met with them. If we had talked to them about the end goal, this all could have been avoided. Let's move on. It's time. There's an old proverb that goes like this. For want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the rider was lost. For want of a rider, the message was lost. For want of a message, the battle was lost. For want of a battle, the kingdom was lost. And all for the want of a horseshoe nail. Benjamin Franklin included this version in his publication, Poor Richard's Almanac, and it was preceded by the words, quote, a little neglect may breed great mischief. 
<laughs> Salespeople participate in this kind of mischief all the time, wasting time and adding fuel to the reputation of the pushy sales professional. The Chinese word for the Tao translates to path. The way of that path is one of harmony. Pushing a prospect who has no interest is like pushing a rope. It can't be done. It's wise to work with prospects who need your services. This starts by discussing the end goal at the beginning. Any effort to talk them into something else is a waste of time. To get a copy of today's chapter, you can find links in the show notes at www.salesbabble.com. And if you found value in this episode, if you could share it with just one person looking to grow their sales skills, I would really appreciate it. And if you have a question about this podcast or any other podcast or anything about selling for that matter, don't hesitate to reach out. Click the Babble Me button on the salesbabble.com website and that will send a message directly to me. With that said, that's all I've got for this week's folks. Until next time, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble Podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.